Hello, my name is Baxter and I'm a lazy bugger and I'm asleep. I am the Lucha FM mascot. Welcome to Lucha FM. Hello everyone. That was Baxter. Um, I do the talking for Baxter. Now, when I originally recorded this first bit of the video, um, when I thought it was recorded, um, it wasn't. End it didn't end up recording, but Baxter actually looked up. He's too tired now. He's fast asleep. All this dog does is sleep, basically, other than when I'm trying to sleep and he decides to want to be awake and want constant fuss. So, yeah. Anyway, welcome. Um, I did originally do this match against Rangers because I thought I was recording and then I realised I wasn't, so um, I'm replaying this game. I did draw nil-nil, so um, hopefully it'll be the same. Probably no my luck, I'll probably lose now, but we'll, we will play this game again. Like it's brand new. Uh, Deli, Hall Deli Alley's not happy, so. Okay, we'll just put him on the transfer list, but I don't think I'll sell him. Um, yeah, Baxter's, if anybody wants to know. Um, yeah, by the way, sorry, before I carry on. Um, thank you to people who watched Monday's video. I think it was just because you were curious about what I meant in the title. So, um, but I, my watch hours were uh, very good for that. So I really appreciate you watching the video. Um, you probably just wanted to see Baxter. So I'm assuming you'll do the same and then it will drop off. And now I've stopped showing you. Uh, if I could just do a video with Baxter playing football manager, I would do that because I would get way more views. Um, but fortunately, he's, he just doesn't, he's not interested in playing football manager. He's, he's more interested in lying next to my belly here in my heartbeat. Because he finds comfort in that. Um, just to give you an update from last update I had with you. Um, so with this is uh, yesterday was the second day that we had him, and he was a lot better last night. I it took me an hour of constantly trying to constantly getting him to stop trying to jump onto the bed because luckily he's very small, so he can't get onto the bed. But he will try and like wants me to pick him up and he's and he's yelping and not yelping whinging as I call it um so I kept just just very gently putting his feet paws down so he doesn't stay up there um and then basically he after about an hour he gave up and went to sleep on his in his dog bed um and he slept until about four o'clock and then was whinging a bit so I got up and then I lay on the sofa downstairs with him he fell back to sleep. I couldn't get back to sleep. Once I'm up, I'm up. But at least um, it meant my girlfriend could go back to sleep because she's got work today. So she works long long shifts. So I didn't want her being kept up. So I sacrificed my sleep. But I got six hours sleep, which was better than the night before when I got zero. So I was quite happy the fact that I got at least six hours sleep. If I only get about six hours sleep every day for the next couple of weeks, it, it is what it is. But I feel more energetic um, than I did yesterday yesterday um the last this week's videos so far monday and tuesday videos i'm really sorry for literally being in and out of consciousness at times during the videos um i it's it's more ocd more than actually just trying to keep doing a video every day but um i just wanted to make sure i could do a video yesterday and the day before for you lot so i apologize it wasn't the best hopefully today will be better i'll be more energetic and ready to go We've already seen the mascot, Baxter, so let's crack on. Um, first game back of the episode, and we've got Rangers. So we've got Duris in goal, Rui is right back, Suter um, and Diaz. Diaz makes his debut in defence. Bruce on the left, Petrovic and Rios in the middle. Boulder's back, and he's on the right. Bar in the middle, Ali Salia on the left, and Hoyland's back up front. So let's see how we get on. Hopefully it'll be another nil-nil draw so I won't feel like I cheated you. Because uh, if I win this game now, I've, I don't want people to think I'm uh, what they call save scumming. It genuinely was just because I didn't realise I wasn't recording. But no, my luck, I'll probably lose. Oh God, they got Pedro Neto. We're screwed. Um, but yeah, hopefully I won't lose. Petrovic is um, becoming a really good player for us. He's, bit, he's becoming a bit of a fan, fan favourite lately.
But yeah, we are currently top of the league. Six games played. Now, don't get that twisted. Um, Celtic are neck and neck on points with us. They've got a game in hand. So is Hibs. And um, Rangers have got a game in hand. Um, we are five points ahead of Rangers, but like I said, it's very early into the season. If I'm there or thereabout, I'll be happy with that. Ideally, eventually, I want to start challenging for the title. I'm, as much as I'm happy being third and fourth, uh, I still want to like, win the title. Ultimately, if I don't win the Champions League by the time FM25 comes out in the same, then fair enough. But I want to at least win the Scottish Premiership with Rafe Rovers on this save. That is the ultimate goal. Champions League's a bonus, but I can't. I, I, it's going to be a right struggle to win the Champions League with any Scottish team. You'd struggle, you'd struggle to do it Rangers or Celtic, never mind uh, a team like Rafe Rovers. Right, Petrovic is knackered already, so he can come off. Let me know in the comments section if you want more more content with with um, little Baxter. I might start recording um, his little his first little sessions when I take him for little walks and stuff. See how he gets on. He doesn't like walking by the looks of it. I think he's going to be an indoor dog because I don't think he likes being outside. He likes it. He likes it when I carry him outside. He's quite happy to look at every, look enjoy the sights while I'm carrying him. But him actually walking himself, I don't. He doesn't like. So I'm trying to slowly encourage him. But yeah, unless something drastic happens in this highlight, I think it might end up nil nil. Which wouldn't be too bad of a result, really. Let's take Bar off. Uh, let's put him on. I've jinxed us. I've jinxed us. Why did I open my bloody mouth? I knew that was going to happen. <sighs> In fact, let's push these forward like so. And then swap in Put him here and advance forward. Put him there. Alright, let's see how we get on. And then we go, probably running out of time to do all this. To make a difference, but... We never know. Nah. Ah, that's annoying. We'd have still been probably top of the league if we had that draw. Oh well, these things happen. Hopefully we'll bounce back against Motherwell and everything will be fine. Right then, what I'm going to do is I'm going to holiday and uh, for the next eight days and come back in a sec when it's finished. And we're back, next part of the episode. Uh, let's just go through the inbox items, see how whatever interesting comes up. Right. Oscar Hoyland's gone. We can't sign him. Can we get him in on loan to join his brother? No. Nah. Uh, Bruce is out for a few days. Got a new B team assistant manager. I oh, know we haven't. We've lost our B team assistant manager. Celtic poaching one of our staff, that's not good. Right, we've got Motherwell now. Hopefully we can bounce back with this result. Get back up and running. So uh, I think 
And on our Binks is in defence, Manning's on the left, so they're, they're the changes in defence, and that's it. The rest of the team is the same. <clears throat> Love well bottom, so I'll be surprised if we don't beat them. Man it. Passing around nicely. Oh, what a ball. Hoyland, you should have done better with that. Two central defenders booked so far. That is not good. How much do you want to bet that one of them players is going to get sent off in a minute? We're uh, struggling to... There we go. Hopefully this will change now. Oh. oh good shot. Right. We're all over them, but we just can't bloody pull the trigger. Oh, there we go. Oh, I thought that was it then. I think that might have been a loss. I, was say, I think that was offside anyway. Which it was. Right, another corner. Man in. Punched out by the goalie. We've still got possession with Rios. Passes it to Rui. Oh, no. uh, there we go. No, that was not very good by Rui. Still got possession though, Rios. Petrovic. Good ball. Oh, there we go. Ali Salia. He's our, he's our very own version of Mo Salah. Lovely assist by Petrovic. Nil up so far. Can we get another goal before the first half ends? Oh, there we go. Lovely. Bit of a kerfuffle, but we'll, we'll take it. 2 0 up at half time. That's good. We have been the dominant team in this game, though. No shots at all by Motherwell. Right. Can we extend our lead? Currently second now, three points behind Celtic with a game in hand. They've got a game in hand on us. Let's just concentrate on our game instead of everybody else's. Oh, that's a that's a free kick. Oh, he's sent off. Manning with the free kick. Is he going to go for goal? He does. All right, Hoyland's coming off. Put Ross Stewart up front. Just leave it as that for now until uh, we get some tired legs, I think. All right, Petrovic, Ross Barkley can come on for you. And Bart, Richie Moran can go on for you. Throw into us, Manning passes it to Barkley. Barkley, one, two, for uh, it's a Rui, Rui. There we go. Bowler with his second goal of the season. Oh, sorry about that. Oh. 
not as tired as I was yesterday, but I'm still tired. I think it's going to take me a few days to be to get used to the dog, and then I'll be all right. Right, three nil. Good, good, good. Uh, we'll uh, just quickly see what happens here. Any news? Uh, we'll just praise Bolwick. Right then, we'll be back in a minute for the next part of the episode. Right, we're back for the next part of the episode. Let's see if anything interesting happened while we were on holiday. Got a new under 18s assistant manager. Looks okay for what we need. Working with youngsters is 16, so that's good. Oscar Air is out for a few weeks though. Right, eight of your players have been called up for international duty. So Lenneman is the Scottish under 21s. And then we're in the Scottish under 19s. We've got Paul Peggy, Jim Linus, Chris Bannon, Ewan. Penman and Mike Gillies. So that's good for the future with like with five one, two, three, four, five. Yeah, five in the Scottish under twenty one. So if they gradually progress, you never know, we might end up getting a couple of Scotland internationals in there. So oh suitors injured for a couple of days. But should be alright to play this game. Bars out for a few weeks though. Uh, any good? Do we need him? No, probably don't. No, I'm not just going to sign every single free transfer that I see. I think I'm going to try and focus on mostly British players with the odd high profile player coming in. On a free transfer. So here's our lineup. Um, Dewhurst in goal, and then the usual defence midfield. Uh, Barkley's in there, but that's about the same. It's pretty much the same team as last game. Let's see how we get on against Aberdeen. Petrovic. I don't know if this will be anything because usually the first highlight is usually the kickoff. But we'll see. You never know. It might lead to a goal for us. Over the top to Bowler. Oh, get in. Good start. Ali Salia. I think it's Ali Salih, not Ali Salia. There's no A there. Ali Salih. Good start there, 1-0. Here we go, breaking on the counter-attack. Gives me uh, Man United versus Liverpool vibes here. And they scored that winner. Oh, I thought that was going to be a beautiful ball to Hoyland there. Unlike Man United, we couldn't uh, counter-attack from that and score. Uh, Aberdeen trying to get back in the game. Trying their best to keep the possession of the ball. I'm hoping we'll just nick, them up, nick the ball off them in a second there. Oh, maybe not. No, oh, not enough to worry about. An action packed uh, first five minutes though. Bowler. Oh, nearly. Right, corner to us, bowler. Floats it up, straight in the goalkeeper's hands. I knew that was going to happen. I've never seen so many, so many highlights in the, in the first 12 minutes of the game. Free kick to us. Didn't lead to anything. Corner. Nope. 
Celtic playing today. They are. Let's, uh, we'll leave the scores on. Rangers are playing Hibs, so that helps us because they're both in the top four. So one can eliminate the other, hopefully. And if they draw, better for us. Ah, no, talking of draws. Right, our free kick. Can we get the lead again? Suter. Bruce. Bit of 1 2 zero going on. We need to be going forward, not backwards, lads. Come on. Ugh. Right, there we go. Oh, that was a nasty foul. That was a nasty tackle. That should have been a bloody yellow card. Right, we got the ball back, though. Petrovic. I feel like we're lacking the confidence to pull the trigger. Oh, here we go. I stand corrected. Hoyland, though, with an absolute disaster of a miss. Uh, I'm just going to berate Hoyland. Hopefully that'll fire him up. Ah, I need to berate Bruce, uh, Bruce as well. Most of the times these don't work, but we'll see. They don't do anything in the next 10 minutes I can take them off. Uh, I think it's time for substitutions. Okay, let me let me wait a few more minutes. Yeah, take Petrovic off. Hoyland's coming off. Uh are we going Galhart or Stewart? We'll go Stewart. Then we'll leave that for now. One one in the end. That's the game we should have won, really. When's the next game? Two days, so that's fine. We'll just skip ahead with this. What was this quickest off the mark? There's a new Rafe Rovers record. Oh, there you go. Ali Sali has uh, broken a record for the quickest ever goal. Penman scored. Let's see how these are doing. Penman's doing all right. Four assists, one goal. Uh, Mullen's doing okay. Playing quite a few games. Yeah. Uh, not bad about Palacios. Denny, Darren Wright. Doing okay. Playing a few games. That's what we want to see. We want them getting game time so they better, they become better players for us when, and we end up playing them eventually. The next season I might just look at pulling the trigger and putting some of these youngsters in the first team. Do like a, what Ferguson did many, many years ago. And we all thought he was mad at the time and then he, and look what happened. Proved us all wrong, didn't you, Sir Alex? I didn't doubt him though. I always trust Sir Alex. I always knew he knew what he was doing. Hence why he probably left at the, at the right time because I think he knew that the writing was on the wall and he didn't want to tarnish his career like Arsene Wenger did at Arsenal, I think. All right, Celtic away next game. Difficult game ahead of us. We'll see how we get on. Hopefully we'll be all right. Right. So, Duist in goal. Oyano was right back, so Rue must be injured. Golson and Diaz in centre defence. Uh, Swazo was left back. Devlin and Petrovic in midfield. Uh, Valesia. Oh, I know why, because it's the Premier Sports Cup, so he's automatically rotated the team. So yeah, Barkley in the middle, Galhart on the left, and then Hoyland up front. 
hopefully Hoyland can get a goal or two, get his confidence back up because he's he's not been playing well the last couple of games. But we are playing Celtic after all. And they will not be an easy team to beat. Oh, I am sorry. All right. Good save, do worst. Oh dear, that is not good. Right, come on, Duras. Be the hero. Yes, get in. I don't know if that was a save or a miss, but still happy. They've got a corner there. They can still score from this. Good header out. Right, let's see if we can counter-attack from this. No. No, we can't. I'm so glad they missed that penalty. Not much has happened in this, so it's not how we go. After that penalty, there was no highlights for about 15 20 minutes. Playing out from the back, Duras to Diaz, across to Swazo. Swazo with a misplaced pass. Either that or Gail Hart wasn't very good at knowing what he was doing. Oh, I thought that was going to be a goal then, the way that was set up. Right, Celtic in possession. They look the more likely to score in this game, if I'm honest with you. We've been very lucky so far not to be losing this game. Ah, and there you go. Like clockwork. Right, 1-0 down. Not too bad about the Premier Sports Cup though, so it doesn't really bother me that much. Uh, there we go. Headed out nicely, headed out again. Oh, that was unlucky. Good goal though. Yeah, Buddy Hoyland having another rubbish game. Might have to drop him. Might have to look at selling him, to be honest. He's not, he's not doing as well as I was hoping he would. We might have to invest uh, in, a, in a decent amount of money to sign a good striker in January. We'll have to start doing some scouting near January time for a decent striker. Oh, Jesus Christ. Do worst is the only player that was worth a pat on the back. The rest are not. Good save again. Do worst, you are amazing. I can see why all the big clubs are after you. I say big clubs, I mean big Scottish clubs. Come on, get a ball. Let's get a consolation goal at least. That would be Hoyland. Come 
come on, come on, come on, come on, come on, come on, come on. Right, there we go. Oh, no, we lost the ball. Can we get it back? Or is this going to be another goal for Salty? Close him down. Uh. Oh dear. Oh, good defending though. The gold, Goldson Duerst wasn't too bad, and our left back wasn't too bad, but yeah. Anyway, I'm glad about that cup. I didn't want to win it anyway. So that's good. So we're out of that rubbish competition. Yep, criticise you. Uh, hmm. Actually, I say he's not done very. Oh no, it's non competitive. That don't count. Uh, right, we'll assess the situation. Right, uh, on that note, I'm going to call it an end to this episode. Um, thank you as always. And I'll be back tomorrow with another one. All the best. Bye.